happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com and I'm excited that you're joining me today in my studio for today's crafty fun project. So excited. I have some good stuff to show you. So before we get started, I wanted to make sure that you know that it's celebration time. Yes, 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 yes. Best time of the Stampin' Up here and we get to do it twice now. I love that. Let's see if I've got a catalog celebration yay 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 so if you don't know what celebration is um you get to earn a free product out of this little booklet here for every 50 dollars you spend which is awesome and there's some super cute stuff in here i'll be showing you more in the coming days and of course our july through december mini catalog has started as well which has packed full of awesomeness as well so if you love holidays the christmas holiday and you want to get a jump start on your projects um you can go ahead and order those um you've got great fall projects halloween um just some all occasion things so it's a great catalog and it complements our annual catalog perfectly. So today I am going to show you something from the annual catalog because I want you to see a little bit more about this product suite. So I'm going to switch the camera over. Oh, let me slide my head over. Got a sneak peek behind there. I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. All right, let me switch my camera over and hopefully this works. Yay, it did. Good deal, good deal. So I am showing you a project from the Awash and Beauty um, product suite. No, yes. Yes, a wash and beauty. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. Let me grab a catalog and we'll just pull it open and we'll show you the entire suite. I hope I grabbed my gems. I always realize I forget something every time you sit down. I hope, does everybody else do that too? I hope not. Maybe it's just me or maybe I do hope that everybody does. So, so glad that you guys are here with me today. So I've got this a wash and beauty it's on page 66 and 67 of the annual catalog. We are featuring this product suite as part of our all-star tutorial bundle. And if you're not familiar with that, it is 12 video tutorials. The uh, measurements in both, both metric and imperial. So no matter where you are globally, you can participate and stamp along with us. But it is 12 demonstrators from around the world that, that join every month. And we feature a, a product suite and the projects are fantastic. So if you're not familiar with that, um, highly recommend it. We have our six month subscription open. So that is posted on my website at creativelyyours.com. It's a featured post, so you should be able to see it right away. Um, so we've got the subscription period going on right now, which if you purchase the tutorials for all six months, you only pay for five. Or you can buy them individually as they release each month or even better yet, get them free. So, so when you place a $50 or more order with me during a month, you get that month's tutorial free. All right, so I am doing this awesome collage card and we are going to do the True Beauty stamp set and then the dies that coordinate. Let me make sure organic beauty dies. So we've got those, we're gonna use those as well. And of course the gorgeous, Stampin' Up! does our paper so well, our gorgeous designer series paper. So if you're a fan of designer series paper, I have my paper shares um, going on through this Friday, I believe it is. This is going to be your last opportunity to join in on the paper and or ribbon share for the mini catalog. So we've already done the annual catalogs. That one's already sold out, but you could join me for the uh, mini catalog. So let's go ahead and get started on today's project. I've got a little technique to teach you in case you've not done this one before. So let's start off. Oh, thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate that. It helps get my name out there and um, and, and help my viewing, which, which I greatly appreciate. I, I don't know if you guys know this. I do this as my full-time job. Um, I was in the corporate industry, apparel industry for, gosh, forever. And in November of 2019, I was laid off and... I've been doing this full time. So this is how I feed my family. So I very much appreciate the support. Um, all right, let's get started here. So after the video, I will go in and put in the full supply list. So you guys will have links to everything that you need to order if you need to order anything. And then I'll also have the cut dimensions so that you'll have everything that you need. So you can do this with other products if you want. I just love it with this particular product suite. All right, so I'm going to start off and I don't have my measurements in front of me, so I'm, I'm not even going to try to guess what these are. So I've got my two strips of designer series paper. So I just took the front and back and flipped it over and I'm going to adhere these 
to a piece of basic white cardstock. And I'm gonna do this with my stamp and seal. I'm a stamp and seal girl. Um, not everybody loves stamp and seal. I, I have uh, my neighbor's mojo partners. I think most of them are a liquid glue kind of person and um, liquid glue and I have a love and hate relationship. I do use liquid glue. There are times that you just have to use liquid glue but I don't like to get sticky and I tend to get sticky when I use liquid glue myself and everything around me. All right, so I've started off there. Next, I wanna bring in my stitch rectangle dies. And I don't know if you can see this detail on this edge. Sometimes the focus does a little weird. Let's see if I can, there you go. Maybe you can see it a little bit better there. So I've got this stitched detail right around here for that rectangle, which is awesome. Maybe it'll lock it in again. Maybe, I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, we'll try. Hopefully that's not messing with your head. Okay, so I'm gonna die cut this with my second largest, if I can get that off here. We're gonna just run this through our die cutting machine and that's gonna give us our fabulous stitched layer. So we're gonna do that and bring that in so it's fabulous, right? And then I've got a layer that is vellum. I love adding vellum. Um, to my cards, it adds such a nice softness. And on this card, I put the vellum flat and then I popped up the designer paper. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll bring in our dimensionals. Perfect. So if I miss, if you guys have questions on anything, please, please ask. And if I miss them, put them in the comments after the video because I'm, I'm still learning and I'm finding it a little bit difficult to get back to see your comments afterwards to be able to answer them. It was a little easier on Facebook, but everybody voted and we prefer to be on YouTube. So we're doing our lives on YouTube now. Okay, now I've got a piece of thick basic white cardstock and I'm gonna fold this in half. Now I typically like to score this. Let's see if I got a little debris on there. So we'll put that on the front because I'm gonna cover it. Um, I do like to score mine in half. And do I have a scoring blade? I do not. Okay, my scoring tool is on the other side of my room, buried because I'm in the middle of cutting for card club. But I have my old, old paper trimmer. So pretend that's not my old paper trimmer. <laughs> Put this in at the five and a half mark and I'm gonna score it with my gray scoring blade. All right, pull that back boy back in. Set that down. Normally I pre-score these. So I don't always, when I when I do the, when I cut it the other way. So when this is eight and a half by five and a half and I fold it this way, I don't always pre-score that because I've seen it folds fine. But for whatever reason, the grain of the cardstock, when I'm folding this top edge like this, I feel like it needs to be scored before I fold it. I don't always do it, but, but many times I do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this flat. So the reason I didn't put the vellum down first is because I don't want my adhesive anywhere that that layer is not covering it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Because my heat adhesive will show through the front when you're using vellum. So it's kind of nice to cover it up with some of these beautiful layers. Nice, and it just adds a nice, nice uh, subtle touch to it, softness. My fave. All right, next, have you guys used adhesive sheet yet? I love them. So they come in a uh, six by 12 and the sheets, the full sheets actually have some perforated panels in them. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but this allows you to easily pull that backing paper off and adhere it to your cardstock. So what you do, move this out of the way. So what you do is you take your adhesive sheet and you are going to put it on the back of your paper. So I'll show you how to do that. Why not? So I'm just gonna peel off a little piece of that, put my adhesive sheet on there. Well, we'll get it, we'll get it, I promise. It's not that bad. It makes it super easy to put it down. So now I've got my adhesive sheet on there. And then I wanna use the die, one of the dies that came in this bundle. Ta -da! I'm gonna use this one here. This is gorgeous. I think it adds a really pretty touch to it. And I'm just gonna run this through and die cut this to get this lattice, okay? So now that I've got my lattice, I've got a piece of plain white 
and I'm going to adhere this lattice to it. So that was why I put the adhesive sheet on the back, right? It's so much faster and easier for me personally. You have to do what makes you happy, but I think it's so much faster and easier to do it like this, right? And so now I'm just going to get my take your pick because I sometimes have trouble starting this with my fingers. All right, there we go. We've got it started. So that should give us a good place here. So we're just going to pull this adhesive off the back. Now you could do a portion at a time, just like you did on the other. So let's do that just to show you. So we're gonna start that. And then once I've got it down in one spot, I can just remove that backing paper and give that a good push. And that add a nice touch and no messy glue. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we're gonna pull back out our stitched rectangle dies. And I wanna die cut this one as well. So let's see. Did I write down which size I used? I did not. Let's see, that one's too small. So I think it's this one, fourth smallest, yes. So we're gonna take this and run this through the machine, our stamp and cotton emboss machine and die cut this with our fourth smallest rectangle. All right, so now we've got this great piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this right on the front and put some dimensionals behind it. Now, are you guys big fans of collage cards? I, I love collage cards. It took me a little bit to love, love them, but once I figured out some tricks to it, I definitely am a big fan of collage cards. All right, so I'm just gonna slide this. Now you could offset this if you want. I'm gonna put it kind of centered, really. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. All right, I'm gonna move this out of our way because we've got some other things that we need to get going here to build. And then we'll plop those right on the front. So now I've got a vellum circle, third largest. One, two, three, third largest. I've already die cut that out with some vellum. Like I said, I love little touches of vellum. And I've got my stem for my greenery. I'll show you what I did. I already die cut this out. So I use this piece here, which is that die. Okay. I'm going to use this to create my floral focal point here. So you can see that. So you see those stems right behind that flower. So I just literally used what was in my dies. Okay. So we'll set that aside and we'll bring in our paper to go ahead and stamp and die cut our leaves. So this is where the technique is gonna come in. Let me get myself organized with my paper and my inks. All right, so I've got some scrap pieces of paper. I'm gonna pull in my ink pads. So first I'm gonna start with Granny Apple Green and Mossy Meadow. Crazy, right? So first, I want to ink this up with Granny Apple Green. So this is the leaf image, right? And then I'm going to take a dauber and I'm going to bring in my Mossy Meadow ink. Slide that over for just a moment. And I'm going to daub some Mossy Meadow ink on here to give myself some two-toned flowers, All right? So we'll stamp this one right there. Isn't that fun? Love how pretty that is. It gives it a nice variation in color. Now you would wanna clean this. I did not bring a scrub over, so I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm just wiping it off on my scrap paper. So again, I'm gonna ink it up with Granny Apple Green, and then I'm going to dab her on. And you can really put the color wherever you want to on the leaf. So I'm gonna do two sets of those. How fun, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. Done with the greens. And let's move to our flowers. So we're gonna use that same technique, adding two colors. And I'll stamp some flowers out. So I'm gonna bring in Mary Merlot. That's my first color. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp two of them in Mary Merlot. Why not? We'll just have two of them that are Mary Merlot. All right, now my next one, wiping off my ink here, my scrap paper. For the next one, I want to ink it up in polished pink. Okay, 
I'm going to bring in another sponge dauber. Yeah, that one's green. I don't want to use that one. <laughs> and I am going to add some Mary Merlot ink right to the image here, just to kind of give it a little bit of variation, right? So maybe we'll go kind of like that. Stamp that down. Nice. I love that. So you can do it any way you want to do it. Now in this next one, I'm going to ink it up in Mary Merlot. And let's add some polished pink to this one. I'm going to go a little heavier on this polished pink, I think. Let's see what this one does. Yep, that's my favorite. I'm going to do that one again. Okay. Inking it up in Mary Merlot and then dabbing on my polished pink. So it just gives you a little bit of variation in your flowers. And this, this designer paper has a nice watercolor look to it. And so that's kind of an easy way to take your stamps and get a little bit of that watercolor look without watercoloring. Of course, you can watercolor and then cut them out, which would be awesome as well. All right. Now we are going to take our dies. So I'm going to use this leaf right out of the the die set, and then luckily we have two of the little flowers. So those go pretty quick when you have to cut out five versus just doing one. So we'll cut those out. And I did pre-cut them out and I buried them somewhere. <laughs> I may actually have to cut them out if I can't find where I put them. That's not good. It's amazing how quickly, I don't know, do you guys do that? Do you lose stuff on your workspace as you're working? I should not be losing stuff. It's right here. I know it is. Oh my goodness. I see it. I put it where I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> if you know what I mean by that. All right. Two leaves. And I dropped a petal somewhere. Well, I might have to cut one out. There it is. Good job. There we go. Now we've got our petals. All right, so I'm just gonna build this all together on this lovely little stem here. So I am gonna bring in a little liquid glue. I know it makes me crazy, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna put a dot of liquid glue there and pop on one of my flowers. Okay. And I'm gonna put a dimensional on this one and pop on one of my flowers. Okay, I think I will do, um, I'm gonna do a dimensional on this other side as well. I'm gonna pop on another flower over here. And I may go ahead and put this down on my vellum so I can kind of see what kind of space I'm working with. Go ahead and put that one down. All right, got a little bit of a feel for how big this is gonna be and where this is gonna fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. Now you could have it crossing outside the vellum if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave mine kind of in and see where it's gonna net out. So this way I can put a little liquid glue right on those, just a little dab, secure that in place. The less liquid glue I use, the better it will be for my sticky fingers. Personal opinion, right? Okay. Put that down. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the card front. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I can kind of play with my space and where I want everything as I layer. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down with liquid glue as well. I already know I'm going to have some flowers covering that up. I could put them in the dots where I've got this. And I'm going to have a sentiment covering a big portion of that. So it doesn't matter if I got a little bit messy with that. And I like to cross my layers. So I'm letting this vellum come out a little bit beyond this green layer. Or I could pull it in a little bit, have it tuck in there and have this stem come out. Let's do that. And you can put it up as high or as low as you want. It's entirely up to you. I like it. All right, before I build the rest of my flowers and put my leaves on, let's go ahead and get this sentiment so that I can use it as a placeholder. So I'm going to stamp the first sentiment in Mary Merlot ink. So when 
I'm building a collage, I like to cut out lots of little elements and kind of play with what I want it to look like. And then once I'm happy with it, I take a quick photo. Let's see if I can get this somewhat straight. Camera, you never can tell what's gonna happen. Um, but I like to take a photo with my phone so I can see what it looked like. And then I can pull off all my pieces and then slowly rebuild it. But I have something to start from. You know, I've got a finished card already to look at here, but uh, sometimes you, you need something to start with. Okay, so I'm just gonna use that as a little bit of a guide. I'm gonna put my first set of leaves. I wanna tuck it down under here. And I want to maybe do something like that right along there, somewhere around there. So I can just lift, hold one down, lift one up, a little liquid glue, same thing. Pop in a little liquid glue. I'm just gonna hold that for a moment. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. Love that. All right, so let's go ahead and get another one of these flowers down here. Now, one thing I found is when I'm building this and I'm looking at this here, I've got a piece of greenery sticking up there, but I can kind of adjust where my flower sits um, based on what I need it to do, right? Where I want it to sit um, coming out of my sentiment there. So it's looking pretty good like that. Let's go ahead and clip this leaf in half. We're allowed to do that. I'm gonna use those separately. And I'm gonna put a little liquid glue on the back. And this one's gonna tuck in just cover up a couple of those greeneries in there. And then I can tuck this little flower up in here too. You could pop it up if you want. I'm gonna go flat on this one. And maybe slide it just ever so slightly under that one. Like in that. All right, we've got one more leaf to work with. I'm gonna pop that one up. And I think I'm gonna put it down low. Nice. Cute, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so before I put my sentiment down, I wanna add a little bit of ribbon. So I have taken the um, Sweet Sorbet metallic ribbon, so pretty. It's, it's, it's not, um, in my mind, these metallic ribbons don't look exactly like the color but I think it's the metallic in it. But what I do like is that it gives me my shades of pink and I think it coordinates really, really nicely when you mix and match it with other things too. So I don't particularly love it with sweet sorbet because I like the matchy matchy and the metallic just kind of changes that a little bit for me. So I'm going to use it like this because I like it. So I just tie that in a bow. I'm going to glue it to the back of my sentiment here. Just a little stamp and seal. Kind of place that down how I want it to stick out. Okay. And then I can pop this right on my card front and have this great ribbon um, right in there. So I'm going to put my dimensionals in these two corners. Hopefully I miss putting them on the top of other layers. <laughs> and it will lay flat, hopefully. All right, so I think that's where I want it to be. All right, so I have straddled this layer as well, and because of where my dimensional is and that this has popped up, I'm gonna, well, no, I think I am okay. I think I'm all right. I was thinking I might need to double, double stack it, but I think I'm in far enough don't know that I'm straight. I think I'm in far enough that I'm good there. So pretty. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. The finishing touch. Now, have you guys played with the iridescent pearl basic jewels yet? I love them. And I've got both the regular pearls and the iridescent. So here's the regular pearls. And then here are the iridescent ones. They have such a beautiful color to them. And I believe we can order these again. So these have a little more of a a vanilla look to them, I would say. Um, and then these have just, they catch all that color. So they're both fabulous, right? Both are great, but I really, really like these. They add an extra shimmer, I think, to the project. So I am loving those myself. So let's pop on a couple of those. 
using my handy dandy take your pick. I use this all the time now that I figured out how to use it. All right, perfect. So the outside of the card is ready. Let's go ahead and do the inside because we want to bring our design to the inside. I don't like to have naked cards on the inside um, or envelopes. I don't always show you guys envelopes on the lives, but um, I would recommend decorating your envelope to coordinate, right? So nice. So I've got a couple more pieces that I've already cut out. So I've got a vellum, it's the same size as the vellum on the front. And then I've got a piece of white that I cut with a stitch rectangle that's the same as the front panel. So I'm gonna stamp a sentiment on here. So let me show you what I'm doing. This is what we're doing, the here for you always, and then we're gonna layer that. Isn't that beautiful how it just really adds a nice special touch to the inside of the card? I think that makes a big difference when you're making handmade cards to just add that extra special touch. I know when I first started making cards, I um, always felt like I didn't really want it to look handmade. You, you do, but you don't, you know what I mean? You want it to look really nice. And sometimes it's super hard to do. So I found that if I just add that special touch, the envelope or inside the card, that it just adds a nice finish to it, makes it a little nicer. You don't always have to do it. I like it. All right, so we're going to put this layer in. Again, I'm adding it to the vellum and then I'll add that to the inside of my card. Just to make sure I don't go too crazy with my adhesive. And now I know exactly where I can place it on the vellum and not have it show through. All right, plop this in. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. So fun, so fun, so fun. Oh, good, you guys like it too? Yay, I am so glad. Kathy, thanks for sharing, I appreciate that. So, all right, the, the uh, projects that were behind my head when I first started the live, those are a sneak peek of one of my presentations for the Maker's Mojo Creative Escape. So if you've not joined us before, it is fun, fun, fun. And so it gives you lots of inspiration. The whole point is for us to inspire you to create with the products that you have, right? Of course, if you want to purchase things, you can purchase things. But we're, we show you, um, there's there's five of us. So it's me, Audra Monk, Anne-Marie Heil, Joe Blackman, and Melissa Kerman. And we each do two live presentations. We're spanning over a Friday afternoon and Saturday um, this time to change it up a bit. We've had some feedback that the Saturday doing all 10 presentations in one day is a lot for people. So of course, everything's going to be recorded. So you can go back and watch. You can watch as many times as you want to, but lots of chances for prizes. And um, anyway, so we show you one project and then we show you alternates as well. So um, you will see it using several products so so that you can kind of visualize oh well, I might not have those but I have this how can I take that and make the same project same layout so we're going to show you and teach you that and um, it's just a lot a lot of fun so I hope that you will decide to join us oh yeah I love the um, iridescent pearls oh Jean I haven't tried the heart pearls yet oh I'll have to get some of those I have not not jumped into that one yet but yes, so um, hopefully you guys will join us. I'll make sure I add a link so that you can find that. It's also on my website. You can find all my um, events on my events happening now um, page. Events, classes and events, I think is what it's called, um, that you'll find everything there. So, all right, what else did I need to tell you? Oh, celebration. So I talked about it celebration time, but what I didn't mention is that when you purchase $150 during the, the celebration promotion, so that's July through August, um, it doesn't have to be in one order, it can be in 50 orders, it doesn't matter. But once you hit uh, $150 in, in orders from me, um, you will be invited to my celebration celebration event, which I hold every celebration. It's free to um, as a gift to those customers that do that. Uh, and it's a full card class and we have a fun day, um, some little prize opportunities, I um, have some exclusive perks for them. So last time I gave them dibs to my awesome April early, and I'm going to do that again this time. So that's my retired stash. So um, I won't open that up for everyone until April. So um, 
my uh, celebration celebration attendees will get a dibs at that and I'll have a special class that they can purchase as well uh, on top of the free they get a free class with little goodies and stuff so um all kinds of good things so if you've got questions on anything please let me know again I should be sharing I've got some projects made showcasing several of the celebration freebies and I will be posting those over the next few weeks all right yeah, I know, Deborah. I know this really is a beautiful card. And I wish I could show you the project I did for the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, I'm not allowed to do that. That's supposed to not be seen anywhere. So, um, but it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Oh, Jean, yeah. Always a fun party for Celebration Celebration. Good. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, it's, I, I really enjoy it. It's, it's a nice way to get back. Um, and show you guys that I really do appreciate all of your support and hopefully that you feel that way as well. So, okay. Thank you so much. Have a fabulous week and I will catch you guys next Tuesday. All right. Have fun.